I didn't think it was possible for a situation like this to be ongoing. It's still developing, but somehow it is, and it's probably still going to be. Over the course of the last few months, Dogpack and a Baker YouTuber have been basically exposing Mr. Beast for his fraudulent lies regarding like some of his products, how he scams basically little kids, and how he basically uses CGI and other shit to fake his videos. And there's a lot of people discussing saying like, oh, Mr. Beast being a fraud it, it, it is not that surprising and all this other stuff. But but the thing is about this whole situation over the past few months it, it, is that it, I honestly thought Jimmy was honestly a legit content creator and just didn't fake shit. But I guess... <laughs> I, 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 I guess everyone and me like were wrong, I guess. But And it's just really sad to see. But, you know, whatever. That's not what we're talking about today, though. If you guys don't know already, over the course of the last few days, Mr. Beast and his, uh, his, like, his employees' chat logs have been getting leaked via Telegram. And his lies have been basically getting exposed by Dogpack and... The, the baker youtuber i keep forgetting her name i don't know why but whatever and apparently allegedly mr beast knew about chris tyson's predatory behavior this entire time if you're wondering what i mean by that mr beast are like knew basically that chris was literally sending an actual child p in that group chat and also an alleged underage photo of, of of Ivanka Trump when she was like only 13 but some people are saying that wasn't actually a photo of her when she was actually 13 but and some people are also saying that that the that the anime was incorrect and it wasn't about that plot which I'll get to in a second here like this situation is overall very confusing considering the fact that some people are saying very different things about it but I'm not exactly sure. Oh, this isn't a work chat. So Ava Tyson sends a photo of a young looking girl in a sheer top. Ivanka Trump when she was 13. Yeah, and the message reads, so this photo is allegedly of Ivanka Trump when she was 13. Ava thought that this was possibly a 13 year old and she's posting it in a work chat. And then I've done a reverse image search. And I mean, it seems plausible that it is. Why would you ever send somebody a picture of a 13 year old topless. A lot of people on the internet are labeling this picture as Ivanka Trump. I can't find any definitive proof that it is, but- That it, looks like her. It does look like her, but like, yeah, it looks bad. And I can't confirm or deny if it is. I mean, it seems plausible to me, but either way, like having Ava Tyson saying, oh, this photo is allegedly Ivanka Trump when she's 13 and it's clearly sexually explicit. You can, you know, she's wearing a see-through top. That's insane. I can't imagine just being around your coworkers, like IRL or, or just on a group chat and, and just say, like, hey guys, he, he, here's a photo of someone when, when they were 13 years old and they're almost pretty much just complete, pretty much naked in the photo. I, I couldn't imagine, <laughs> like what kind of conversation is this? Like, bro, th there's so many other things you can talk about in, in a work aspect, because that is a work type of group chat. Like, you can talk about, oh, man, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I, I forgot to do this this morning to go to work or something. Like, I don't know. Like, there's so much other shit you can talk about, but you decided to, to, to talk about a 13-year-old topless. That doesn't make any sense to me. Now on to the anime part. So Mr. Beast was sending it was sending Chris an anime. Basically, uh, basically the anime was about like underage dating, where a 26 year old da dates a 17 year old high school student. And how about that? Like uh, apparently, I looked it up. It, it, it's it's like something like romantic. I'm not exactly sure, but it, it's something to do where like they both like run away and they start like a happy life or something. I'm not exactly fucking sure, but overall, that that's a, just a pretty weird thing to say, and 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 some people can argue that Mr. Beast probably meant something entirely different by this, just saying, saying like 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 oh oh maybe the show is just good in general, but but when you have shit that already covers when he had actual child porn hanging up in in his bedroom from Shadman, that kind of just deflects that instantly. So I I, I don't I don't it's like the credibility here is like at its bare minimum considering Mr. Beast already knew some other things that have been exposed already. And it's just crazy to me. June of 2021, he sends a message of an anime called Higgy Hero or Higgy Hero. It says, I bet Chris would love this show. Why? What's this show about? Well, it's interesting that you ask because this show is about a romantic relationship between a 26 year old salary man and a 17 year old high school runaway. It's well known online to be a controversial anime. Uh, and this anime is based on even more explicit novels that, that go uh, into the details of this romantic relationship between a, 
adult and an underage girl. <gasps> So Jimmy in the chats is saying, I bet Chris would love this show because it's yeah. right up her alley. Why do you think Chris would love that show, Jimmy? Why specifically this anime out of all animes out there? I've heard there's a lot of different animes out there. There is, and, and Ava is well-versed in all of them. Uh, dude, I keep thinking about this too. Chris has a kid. I, 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 don't forget that. I'm pretty sure everyone knows this by now. Chris has a fucking child with him right now. I feel really bad for the kid. I really do. That kid's gonna go, like, that kid's gonna go, like, into high school when he gets older, like, 10, 12, 11 years from now and be like, haha, your dad talks about CP. So funny, right? Poor kid, dude. It, 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 it's just sad. It, it, it really is. Now, I don't watch anime, but can someone explain to me, like, why this dude does not look like he's 26 at all? Like, if anything, the dude looks like, like, he's, he's, like, my age. Like, he looks like he's 17, like, except he's just really fucking tall. Like, why do all anime characters look like that? Like, everyone that, that I've seen, like, on Twitter, when people are arguing, No, this anime's better than this person, you idiot, blah, 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 blah. Because I see that type of shit all the time where people are just arguing online about which anime is better in threads and shit. But, but like, as I said, I, I don't watch anime. So, but like every single anime character that, that I've seen, like, like, th like they all look super young. And apparently this is 26. <laughs> this, he does not look 26. I never thought such a popular creator would, would just go in the dumps. And honestly, like I said already, I thought Jimmy, like this whole time was just like a legitimate like, creator. And I thought he was like a really good person. And he, and he just got success off of just, you know, being honest. But it turns out this, this whole time, the, the past few months, it, it, it it's just it's just been a complete lie exposed by dog pack and this girl you know what makes this whole situation even weirder it, it, is that mr beats also watch watches anime so only god knows if he actually like like when he sent the show only god knows if he actually unironically watches the, the show himself which i don't think enough people are talking about that like what if jimmy actually watches the show himself like, that would just be even more fucking creepy. I get it. Like, here in America and compared to Japan, I mean, well, the age of consent got raised in Japan. It used to be 13 out 16. But, but like, a 26-year-old man dating a 17-year-old and having a relationship with them is just extremely concerning. Like, 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 like it's just... It's, it's not normal. And, and then when you put together all the shit that Chris has been getting exposed for in the past few months... It it it, it does like it does not add up to to be oh well you, you know what you know what maybe, maybe Jimmy was talking about something else along the lines about the anime or like like none of that like like you, like, you can't translate it to that it, like it's not possible with all the other shit behind him and you know what I'm just gonna say this also Telegram has a history of of like 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 illegal materials being sold on there and and being. Like, 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 used for drug deals and all the shit. It, like, Telegram is infamous for that. Now you have a, like, the, the most pop, one of the most popular people in the world using it, talking about CP. Like, it's absolutely crazy to me that, like, like especially in a work, in, in a work setting. Like I said earlier, there are so many other things you can talk about. Just like, like, oh, oh, here's an anime where underage dating's a thing, or here's Ivanka Trump when she was 13, completely naked. Ha <laughs> ha. So funny, right? My God, I, I, I don't fucking understand these people. I really don't. I can't, I can't imagine. Like, like my brain cannot fathom that, that, that this platform has a infamous history of it. But now it's, now this platform is getting even lower when you have the most, one of the most popular people in the world using it for, for its controversial use that telegram already has and that, now you have a youtuber doing that as well it absolutely blows my mind that like not only telegram i'm amazed that all social media platforms across the internet have not fixed this issue yet when, when it comes to like like have posting illegal and or just illegal material or just any material that's against tos there's also it's like something similar to this like something on tiktok like it, it like there's like search terms like special search terms that, 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 like, go around, like, in order to, to, like, get around that so you can actually look at illegal material. CP and, and, like, a bunch of other, and, like, a bunch of other illegal material. And drug deals and all, all this other, like, shit that's just completely degenerate. It amazes me that, that social media platforms have not found a way to just block this shit entirely and stop, like, and stop, like, all this, like, like, loopholes for, in order for people to get around it. I, I, like, how have they not fixed this shit yet? Like, 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 this should not be an issue anymore. 
I don't think, it, that, like, much people are asking this either. Like, with all the stuff that Chris has been getting exposed for in the last few months, has Chris actually hurt a kid before? I don't think enough people are actually asking this question. And I know, and I know it's like a big controversy. So I'm like, oh, Chris was just joking. You know, she's being edgy. But, 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 but there's a line that needs to be drawn between being edgy, uh, like on the online and just flat out being a fucking pedophile or a racist or a Nazi or, 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 or just anything in general. Here's the thing. I think I said this before. Like, there is a line. Like, like there is a difference. Like, like, you have to have a punchline in order to make a joke, especially an edgy one. You can't just have a caption say saying "coming for America" and setting it to a, a third uh, for what you what you know that is a thirteen year old on Snap. Like 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 you have to actually have a punchline for a joke. You like you you can't just say something flat out fucking weird and, and expect people to laugh at it. Because there is a line to to to, to, where, to where when people will actually find it funny to where people will actually find it concerning. And I don't think that that's when I I don't think that's the thing enough people understand. Like, this is just borderline pedophilia, and even if it were jokes, like, Chris had a fucking poster in his room of a alleged child, a drawn child that was drawn inappropriately, hanging up in his room, and Jimmy knew about it and did nothing. He didn't, like, he looked at it in, in a picture, but but other than that, he did nothing. And I thought, like, like when Mr. Beast, like, 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 blah, 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 I can't speak. I thought when Mr. Beast actually, like, first released a statement uh, that Chris was going to get removed from the company and all that stuff, like, like, I, I, I like, I thought, he, like, he was generally, like, 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 done with the whole situation, but now here we are, like, th almost, like, um, like, three and a, like, like, three months later, and now we have, now we have this shit coming out. Like, this exposure has been going on for so long, and, and it's only gonna get, get, like, more, like, like, worse and worse as time goes on, because with all the more and more wild shit that's been releasing by Dog Pack, it's just, it, it, it's just constantly gonna get worse. Anyway, when Mr. Beast actually released the statement, I thought he was just, like, completely done with it, and, and just, and just, uh, like, like, okay, I removed from the company, I don't tolerate that kind of behavior, but apparently, but, but apparently... He does tolerate that kind of behavior because he's giving into it by sending him an sending him an anime about un, like underage dating, and saying, "Oh, I bet Chris would like this anime." So, so, so yes, he he does care. Both he cares and he tolerates it. People, use your brain. Like I don't know why so many people are are, are defending that, and that's mainly because. And, and when I say defend this, if you guys don't know, there's been a controversy surrounding Dogpack as well, saying that. Like, he's a liar, and he's a fraud, and he's making up lies. But in reality, I I'm gonna defend Dogpack when I say this, and people are gonna say, that, like, I'm just completely glazing. Dogpack is known as the Mr. Beast Exposer, but is also partially just a journalist. He has gone some mistakes, and and he does retaliate, like, retaliate against them, which is not a good thing. Like, like he doesn't, like, just not to say, okay, hey, I fucked up, let's move on. Instead, what he does on Twitter is that, like, he he'll do a post saying, like, oh, no, are you sure about that, or... Like, 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 or he'll, he'll just give, like, some excuse for it. But, like, he doesn't know how to say, hey, man, I fucked up. I got this wrong. He's never done that. Like, he always retaliates, retaliates and that's what makes people mad. But, but like, him as a journalist, he just makes mistakes. Like, I'm, I'm going to defend when I say this, like I already said. He is not a fraud. He is not a liar. He just, he's just made a few mistakes already. I think lots of people are misinterpreting, saying that he's a fraud and saying that he's a liar. And, like, he's a journalist that made a few mistakes. I made a few mistakes in my videos. Am I a fraud? No. Like, I don't know why people are, are calling in that exactly. I mean, like, it, like as a journalist, you're going to make some mistakes. It's normal. <laughs> like, when you're a journalist, you're going to make mistakes in your writing and both research in detail. It's a normal thing. I, I don't know why people are getting... I don't know why people are shitting themselves about it. Doesn't make sense to me. Now, I don't know if I said this already, but, but like, when I was researching this video, I, I didn't know entirely, like, like if, if what was true and what was wrong. But because the thing is, when I was researching this video, I thought I was just going to cancel it entirely. But because the thing is, so many people were saying so many different things about the subject, and it was overall just, like, really, really confusing. So, so I was thinking about just scrapping this video entirely originally. But I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll just be like, you know what, fuck, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do a bit more research, and, and, and keep in mind, like, like this whole situation with Mr. Beast has been developing, especially in the last few months. So, so more details are gonna come out, and like, like, like maybe, like maybe Dogpack isn't, like maybe Dogpack is lying, maybe he's not, or maybe he's just made a, made a few mistakes. Who knows? This whole case has has just been developing in the last few months. So, I, so like, my, my personal opinion, like, I don't know what's true and what's not in this whole situation. But like I just said. 
we're we're just gonna have to wait and see to, to, and, and just see w what shit unfolds in the future. Cause, like, like, cause this month has been crazy, for like, for, j like just on the internet in general. Like, this month has been crazy. October has been insane. But other than that, that's pretty much enough to say. Follow my Twitter. I tweet a bunch of random shit on there. Uh, follow my follow my Instagram. I post a bunch of random pictures of myself. And if I find something funny in my camera roll. I'll post it on there too. And I'll also upload things from my TikTok on there as well. Which, by the way, go for my TikTok. I post a bunch of mini commentaries and skits. They actually call them mini commentary skits on TikTok. I, I just call them mini commentaries. Don't ask why. I just do. Join my Discord. It is dead. I would like to have some people in there. And follow my Twitch. I would also like that. Uh, I would also like you guys to follow that. Because I'm going to start doing some like more gaming content that's going to come your guys' way. It's like some more next year. I've already done a bit, uh, done a bit this year. And, and there's a lot of exciting shit coming your guys' this way. I would really appreciate if you guys would sub to, to like, follow my Twitter for updates and all, and all this other shit. But, but, but you know what? Just follow everything below in the description. And other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say. See ya.